Hi, my name is Stephanie Groth and I am the CEO of Bumpy Wool. My husband and I have been together for almost 20 years now and uh, he's been supportive right from the beginning of Bumpy. Gosh, look how young we were. Bumpy was established when our first son was born in 2007 and a uh, kitchen table, just wanted to make cloth diapers for him because I couldn't find a good source where I lived and I thought they were pretty good so I started a business. The original name of the company was actually Bumblebee Baby. Bumblebees were all the rage back in 2007 and I thought they were really cute. Um, I quickly realized that the name was too long and we shortened it. The first few letters and the last few letters, which is where we came up with Bumby. It's a completely made up word and I love it and I'm so glad that that is the name of this company. started using wool about a year into cloth diapering and since I'm actually from New Zealand and my mom used to work on a sheep farm before I was born and uh, we had some family that owned sheep farms it just felt like a really natural transition for me and since I started working with it I fell even more in love with the fiber it is called the miracle fiber and there's so many reasons why I think that that is true After our second son was born, uh, we moved and I shut this business down for a short period of time and uh, did a little bit of babysitting and I really missed making cloth diapers and really missed the business. So I started uh, up again and it was in this time that I met Becky and Becky has been with me uh, I think for nine years now and she is my best friend and We've been working together for ages and she's uh, woven right into the fabric of Bumby. I love saying that because she really is. Rhonda started working with us a few months later and the three of us were working together in my basement for years. Um, Rhonda's kids were a little bit older but Becky and I both had a two-year-old and a four-year-old when she started and those four kids grew up uh, playing in the house together and uh, growing up together, sleepovers and just really learning and growing and playing games, getting into trouble, doing all those things together and I feel so fortunate that our kids got to have that foundation for their childhood. I decided that we needed to do a rebranding. Uh, my elephant logo was really cute, but it wasn't good enough. So we did some research, I did some thinking. I really wanted a logo that transcended age, gender, um, and really would be suitable for anybody. Um, and that's where the logo came from. Uh, I hand drew it with one of my customers and it was a really neat experience to do that. And it's a sheep head. Um, sheep faces can look really babyish or really creepy depending on what you do with the eyes, which is why the logo didn't have any uh, strong features for the face. And it's more an allusion to a sheep as it's supposed to being a sheep. Um, some people don't recognize what it is right off the bat. Uh, they think it's a cup of tea with steam coming out. Um, they think it's a rose. Um, but when they get to know things, they do see that it is a sheep head, hopefully. Regardless, um, the logo is just an image and the image represents the brand. And we are really focused on elevating Bumby as a brand and becoming synonymous with quality, uh, equality, and inclusion, quali or not quality, I already said that, um, and uh, just having a really great product that stands for something. A few years ago, we recognized that we really had something special. So we've hired a few new team members. Um, 
there's some amazing women that are on our team and we work together with so much harmony and I feel so grateful for everybody on our team. Uh, there's no fighting and we just laugh and get along so well and work really hard and uh, I'm just so lucky that I get to work with my best friends every day. Our product. Uh, I feel like Bumby is really synonymous with choice. Uh, I don't like to tell people what to do or uh, what to get and I love collaborating with clients to come up with a really neat design, uh, neat color combinations. Um, we used to do a lot of custom work so instead of having every single thing different we just added more uh, patterns. So there's over 2,000 different pant patterns between the sizes and the fits and the lengths. Um, and the styles and then plus I love color. I don't have a favorite color. They're all my favorite So we tend to have 50 to 100 different colors at a time and um, So you do the math on that. That's a lot of choices Plus the buttons and the threads and the pockets and the ruffles and anything your heart's uh, content so uh, I think when I went to Paris and Belgium in 2015, um, walking through some of the fashion districts and just seeing the shops and the clothing, it really made me feel in touch with my heritage. And I think it's just in me, I love fashion design and I love collaborating and working with people to come up with something really unique. So to the point that we actually get confused if there's uh, an order that has the same thing twice. Um, it doesn't happen very often. So, um, yeah, so that's what Bumby stands for. Over the past few years, we've really been uh, elevating what we're doing. Uh, we've moved out of the basement. We're in a, uh, an industrial space that is 1,500 square feet, and we are busting out of the seams there, which is... I never thought was gonna happen. Um, so we're actually getting into the airspace, hanging things from the ceilings and getting shelving to go up higher so that we can store uh, everything and make sure that we have access. And uh, we're increasing our retailers around the world. Um, we are in uh, uh, France, Switzerland, um, Israel, Taiwan, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, and uh, lots in Canada, and we are really expanding into the United States at the moment. And that's something I'm really excited about. Um, we've always had a large customer base in the United States, but not nearly enough retailers. So uh, we've had several just join our retail group, and they're all amazing people, and I'm so excited to be working with the retailers and with their customers. Um, when I've been doing some business development courses and uh, meetings, they talk about joining the big fish, you know, trying to get into the large box stores and the long or the large uh, online retailers. Um, I won't name names, but I think you know which one I'm talking about, the big one. Um, that's not our goal. Our goal is to partner with small uh, independent shops or big independent shops um, that are focused on customer service, focused on having good products and sharing them with um, their clients and focus on customer service and uh, pretty much every one of our retailers I'm Facebook friends with them we chat and it's a real relationship and that's something that I value and is built right into our business expansion plans in an effort to be more transparent more vocal more accessible uh, we are starting to do some videos. So this is my first selfie video and uh, I hope it went okay and I'm looking forward to doing more. I'm nervous to do more, but I am committed to doing more. So thank you if you got to the end of this video. It was nice to get to know you and um, I look forward to working with you.